Hello and welcome back to the Ultimate Member Plugin. This is video three, create and edit new user roles. How to create a new user role. Sign into your WordPress admin. On your left hand side, choose Ultimate Member Scroll down until you get to user role. To create a new user role, you choose add new. You will enter your title and say, I want to do the member two. Click on create role. Once you have your title, you want to choose your administrative per up. Uh, permissions. Can access the WP admin. Yes, you are allowing them to access their own admin. Force hiding admin in front end. That's up to you. Can edit other members accounts. No. Can edit these user roles only. Can delete other members accounts. No. Can edit their own profile, yes. Can delete their own account, yes. Can view other members' profiles, yes. Can view these user roles only. And you can choose if you want to just have the, uh, this new user role to be able to view other user roles as well. So say I choose Solo member and so say I just choose solo member can make their profile private. No, no, they cannot make their profile private. Can viewer access private profiles? No. Avoid indexing profile by search engines. I'd say no. Home page options can view the default home page. This is your site's home page. This is up to you. You can also have a home page di redirect if they try to uh, view the home page. Then you can put another URL in here, which will they where they will then be redirected to, which can be anything the re uh, registration or okay. Now, the registration status, you can choose auto approve, you can require an email activation, or you can require an admin review. If you require email activation, that means an email will be sent out. And in the first video, I showed you in the settings where the email activation is. Login user after validating, yes. and action to be taken after registration. You can show a custom message or you can redirect to a URL. So for different users, you can have different URLs to redirect. If you have a package one, package two, or package three, then you can use the redirect URL. You can also use a URL redirect after the email activation as well. So these will be different places on your website that are password protected for different packages. You can also redirect to profile. You can redirect to another URL after login. You can refresh the active page or redirect to WordPress admin. So I'm going to redirect to profile. The logout options is just go to a home page or go to a custom URL. So if you're talking about a package and a person wants to get that package, you can also, after they log out, go to a custom URL in which they be able to sign in to access that unique package. 
actions to be taken after account is deleted to go to the home page. Now this is the, the WordPress capabilities, okay? These are the capabilities that you are allowing this user to access. So you don't want to check all of them. You want to read them. And the ones that I check to edit posts, not to edit others' posts, but to publish posts, and to edit publish posts. I'm giving this a level 9. You don't want to click any of these other uh, capabilities unless you are allowing them to publish pages instead of posts then you have pages you can allow them to delete no nope, not to delete to delete posts to delete publish posts to You don't want them to be able to do anything that will break your website. Okay. So once you have finished with all of your capabilities and you've given your role a number, you update your role. So this is your new user role. Recap, simply add new, add your title, add all of your information, and then up, use a, pri a role priority, and then update the role. Remember, if you are using a role priority, that everything else that you have made as role priority 9 will be updated. If you go to your dashboard and now you see your users, you can click on your users. If I want to edit this user right here, I'll just say I want to edit this user right here, which is solo member. I would click edit. Admin. They can edit it and you can edit it as well. It says other roles. Here I can find my sole member too. And then update my user. Okay, so thank you for watching this short video on how to create a user role and how to edit a user role. I look forward to hanging out with you in the next video.